Hi, this is Scott Hendricks with Inceptia, and I did a talk at AU, and I've got a few emails lately asking me uh, exactly how I did this. And uh, they didn't record my session at AU, so I thought that I'd put a, together a blog post and show you a little trick with DesignLine. So what I have here is I have a portion of a building. It's got some VAVs in it and a hot water return connecting up to those VAVs. So in the coronation process, I've had this happen several times where they ask me to, to raise or lower an entire main. And if you just grab the design line and, and use your move command and move the whole thing up, well, then it's no longer connected to the VAVs. You gotta go through and drag all the pieces down and get it reconnected and everything. So what I'm gonna show you is, is a simpler trick to uh, making those changes very rapidly. First thing I'll have to do to make this work is go into our, des our uh, design line editor and select all of my horizontal piping. So I know which ones are horizontals, but ones that only have uh, one elevation number in it instead of uh, where it says rise and tells it tells us that information, but the ones with single. So I'll select all of those, and I'm going to set their fall to an angle of zero. And basically what that'll do, it will, main, it will make sure that that line maintains a flat plane. So as I go in and manipulate this design line, those remain flat. So if I come back in here to my model, and let's say that, that this section uh, of main all needs to go up. Say uh, during coronation, they say that uh, I'm hitting another trade, that we need some more room for lights or cable tray or what, what, whatever it may be. So what I'll do is come into my design line, and this is the point from where I want it to raise from here on out. Uh, my source point is down here. So we'll say that this point uh, needs to come up and uh, I'll drag it up six inches. And you can see that it now is it, it's not at zero. So when I fill the design line, it will do the calculations and straighten that up. We hit fill and there we go. It raised the entire main all the way out to the end, up six inches, but it maintained my connections to my coils. So none of those changed. Now we could even get more drastic with that and pull it up even further. Uh, let's say that uh, instead of being down near the ceiling, what I want to be is right up near my structure and maybe completely up to this elevation. We'll refill that. And now you can see my branches are now coming off the bottom instead of coming off the top. So quick and easy way to uh, manage big chunks of your system at once. And there it is. Hopefully this makes it a lot easier for you and you're able to get through those coordinations a lot more smoothly. Thanks for watching. See you next time.